Okay, so me recording this video is so out of order, but I just wanted to go ahead and create a video and show you guys how I do my frontal wigs. So just starting, basically, I already wore this wig before. So I'm using 99% alcohol. I usually use 91, but I didn't have it. So I'm taking a sock and I'm literally rubbing that alcohol against uh the sock putting it on the sock and rubbing the sock against the lace to clean all that glue off so as you can see after doing that for about five to seven minutes this is how the lace looks it looks so much better it's cleaned off it's fresh um, I'm still gonna go ahead and clean some more off but after about five minutes, that's how the lace looked. Alright, so I already put my wig cap on. Like I said, this video is out of order. But if you guys looked at frontal tutorials before, you kind of know the gist of how to put a wig cap on. Um, so basically what I'm doing is taking the got to be glue free spray spraying that on where my hairline is to hold the cap so it doesn't come off or flip up or anything all right so now i'm just gonna go ahead and blow dry uh the spray that way my net will stay down or my wig cap will stay down and it won't flip up or curl up or anything. Um, if I'm using the spray, it takes about five to 10 minutes. It does take a little longer if you're using the gel. The next what I'm gonna do is take some foundation that matches my skin and a sponge and I'm gonna go ahead and apply that near my hairline that way it'll mix and match my frontal so I just do it in the front I do have a new technique I don't know why I did this when I definitely have a new technique so I'm probably gonna do an updated tutorial honestly but what I used to hold down my frontal wigs is ghost bond been using this for a few weeks I usually use the got to be only because I changed my wigs so much but it's hot and I'm sweating. <laughs> so I've been using the ghost bond lately. It does hold for maybe like four days. But I definitely don't keep it on there that long. Just because, like I said, I change my wigs all the time. Now I'm just going to go ahead and take my finger and I'm moving the glue in an upward motion. First I bring it down on the sides, but I definitely move it back. I don't move it on my forehead, I move it back from my forehead. So I'm just going to go ahead and blend all of this onto the cap. And when you blow dry it, you guys see when you blow dry, you want to blow dry your hair or blow dry the glue until it is clear. If the glue is not clear, it is not going to hold, okay? I repeat, it will not hold. So you definitely want to blow dry this until all that glue is completely clear. So that takes me a few minutes to do. Um, next, this is just a wig that I made. It is an 18 frontal, 20, 20, 22, and 24 bundles. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply this. And look how clean that is. Okay. Now I'm just putting this thing on my head. 
this wig on my head, making sure no hairs are on the glue. I want it to lay down really flat. Also, I don't pluck my frontals. Okay, I do pluck my frontals. I don't pluck my sides so much just because a frontal is going to shed anyway. And I don't usually have my sides showing. I usually wear my hair in the middle part. So I'm just taking that, pressing it down with my finger, pressing the lace down, making sure it holds. Next, I'm just going to take some mousse, mousse my hair. That way it'll look super flat. Then I'm just going to flat iron the hair. This tutorial is so half done, but I will definitely do an updated tutorial. This is just something quick to do. Okay, so I finished my wig off camera. This is the final look after letting the glue dry. I did my makeup off camera too. I'm gonna have a tutorial on this look as well. But this is how the wig looks. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment if you have any questions or um, if you want to see different stuff on my channel, leave a comment. But thank you guys so much for watching. Tune in to my next video.